Hi, um, I'm going through this. I'm making this video because I'm trying to go through some issues I had installing the Lumra wireless switch system. Okay, my scenario is I bought a new house. Um, the previous owner actually decided to put a switch after renovation only on the top of the stairs, not on the bottom. And um, you know we're ready to move in. We really don't have no, any more time after all the crazy stuff to do any more renovations. Did some research, came up with this product. Now, um, two places that sells I see, well, besides Amazon, which is pretty expensive, is adhoc.com, which is the people who bought the rights to this system. And the system is actually made in Germany. And then the place that actually I got it from is Green Express Direct. And it's uh, only 5 to $10 cheaper. Now, they have a couple of systems. Um, One-way system where it's your wireless switch, and you have two ways, which is what I need. It's a just a three-way switch. Now, um, Quick scenario is I did look at Home Depot and Lowe's. They sell another kind of remote thing which has um, some issues because people say it's like a car remote, you could actually turn your lights on the outside. But they use a lot of the same frequencies as a car remote that you would get. So people can actually turn your lights by accident if they're outside. Uh, close enough to if you're close enough to the street, which my house is. Now my system comes with two of these switches, a light switch, the the casement for it, and the plate. Okay, so basically that's that. It generates power by itself. No batteries needed. Okay, one of the questions I had for the buyer, for the people that sells this, is a light switch for a system like this costs a lot of money. It's like a hundred something to almost two hundred dollars for a three-way switch. How long is this insured for? They did some research and they said that um, all these are insured for three years. So if you have a problem with three years, send it back. They'll give it to you. But they said this is very well built. Um, the person that had it had it for ten years already. Okay. So my next problem is I'm installing this on the 4th of July. None of the stores are open where I bought this from. And um, on the video that shows you how to do this, when they come to the box, they have a hot, a neutral, and the three wires, right? White, black, white, and the red. So it's like this receiver. There's a, now I put the receiver in already, so I can't show it to you. There's a black, a red, and a white. So then when you pull out the thing, you're supposed to see three wires, but I don't want to see two. So I learned later on this is a single pole switch and it's just a pass through. So when this happens, what you're going to do is you're going to install this on the light fixture. And the light fixture, which my receiver is already in, all lights has three wires. Black, white, and a green, which is the ground. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to connect the red to the black wire, the white to the white, and then the black is going to be whatever's left. That's usually the neutral that goes back to the box. Um, that's what I did and figured it out. Now, there's an issue why I cannot figure out is when I take this, I'm assuming this is a pass through. So when I wire this together, the light works, and but my receiver doesn't work. But by putting a switch here and leaving it off, um, I can use a remote and it works. I can't figure that out. So if one of you guys out there who are who are electricians, you could give me an answer, that'd be great. I would really appreciate it. But so basically for the people who, who are stunned like me when I saw two wires, I didn't know what to do. Um, so what I did is I wired this back. I put a receiver up there where you will have the, the neutral wires and connect your red to the black, the white to the white, and the black from this receiver to the neutral, to whatever's left over. You know, the ground you'll know. Ground is either copper or green, so that's not it. All right, hopefully this helps someone out there, and um, that's that. But this is a pretty good system. Um, so far, um, my wife likes it. I like it. And it's actually, um, not a, it's pretty well built. And with a three-year warranty, now I'm actually, I'm okay with it. Because a lot of friends will say, what, $200 almost, you know, you're buying a switch. It would be crazy, whatever it breaks. All right, see ya. Okay, finished product. So this is the original switch. I keep it off. And pressing this, it's on. Right, but... Now this is a weird part. If this is a pass-through, it's on, this won't work. By leaving this off, the top is on, bottom is off. Now I have a similar one down here. So now I don't have the wires. And basically that's the bottom of my stairs. On, off. And that's my light. Okay, hopefully this helps. Well, that's with a single pole switch. And so this is an issue I cannot resolve, but at least I have my light now on.